Передаем привет пану Зеленскому. Спасибо за чудные машины. А сейчас мы пригоним мотолыгу и заберем эту хуйню. The conflict between Ukraine and Russia has seen both sides seizing and repurposing military hardware on multiple occasions. A recent and notable event in this series involves the capture of a U.S.-supplied M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, or IFV, by Russian forces in Ukraine. Footage shown on Russian television purportedly portrayed the IFV taken on the front line in Ukraine's Luhansk region, reportedly immobilized by Russian fire and abandoned by its Ukrainian crew. During the news, the presenter suggested that the seizure of a functional Bradley, one among several dozen supplied by Washington to Ukraine this year, could offer Russian forces insights into its vulnerabilities. This prompts a critical examination of the Bradley's effectiveness in the ongoing conflict and raises questions about the potential insights Russia might gain from this seizure. Consequently, the question arises, should Russia's adversaries, especially the United States, be alarmed by this development? The news report not only showcased the captured Bradley, but also featured interviews with several masked members of the recovery crews. These anonymous individuals shared their experiences of venturing into the gray zone amid dark and foggy conditions, positioning themselves just 500 meters away from Ukrainian forces. They elaborated on the successful towing of the vehicle through minefields after an initial unsuccessful attempt. The footage of the highlighted vehicle vividly displayed its battle scars, revealing bullet holes inflicted by Ukrainian drones attempting to disable its advanced equipment. The camera also captured stacks of heavy machine gun rounds and yellow-tipped cannon rounds, underscoring the intensity of the conflict. Remarkably, despite Ukrainian efforts to destroy the Bradley, Russian troops managed to move it using two tractors simultaneously. A member of the recovery team noted that the vehicle appeared to be an upgraded version of the Bradley, equipped with a more powerful engine, improved dynamic protection against cannon fire, and enhanced night vision and fire guidance systems. Intriguingly, the vehicle had only covered around 240 kilometers, suggesting its relative newness. Prior to this recent incident, Russia has seized Bradley IFV, and currently their engineers are in the process of deciphering its system. Roman Kromov, the Deputy Executive Director for State Defense Procurement and Military Technical Cooperation at Kurgan Mashsavod, shared the study's findings with Ria Novosti. He highlighted that a comprehensive examination of the captured samples in the Northern Military District has conclusively established that the American Bradley is not comparable to the Russian BMP-3. The analysis of these captured vehicles demonstrates that the BMP-3 surpasses the American infantry fighting vehicles across various parameters, including characteristics, firepower, mobility, ease of operation, maintenance, and repair. Since June 2023, Ukraine has initiated the deployment of Bradley IFVs against Russia as part of their counteroffensive strategy. According to Oryx, a Dutch open source analysis website closely monitoring visual evidence of losses in the conflict, Ukraine has incurred a substantial number of M2A2 Bradley vehicle losses since the counteroffensive began. The magnitude of these losses has been so pronounced that analysts now colloquially refer to Ukraine as a graveyard for these American IFV. Out of the 52 Bradley lost by Ukraine, the majority fell victim to damage caused by Russian strikes, while a few were simply abandoned. However, the recent acquisition of these IFVs raises a pivotal question. Have these vehicles proven their effectiveness for Ukraine?
Despite the losses, the vehicles supplied by the U.S. have reportedly played a crucial role in saving the lives of the Ukrainian crew inside them. The Bradley, recognized for its strength and capabilities, stands out in comparison to the Soviet-era BMP-1 and BMP-2 infantry battle vehicles previously used in Ukraine. On the contrary, Russian perspectives contend that the Bradley cannot surpass the Russian BMP-3, a viewpoint substantiated by Moscow's extensive deployment of the latter. Moreover, on July 22, additional footage from various Russian sources emerged, depicting the destruction of several Bradleys on the Ukrainian front lines in the Zaporizhia region. The ongoing debate about the effectiveness of the Bradley's armor is fueled by the higher attrition rates observed in Ukraine, intensifying concerns. The M2 Bradley IFV has undergone multiple upgrades, culminating in the latest version, the M2A4 Bradley. This iteration boasts an improved drivetrain, a more powerful engine, upgraded electronics, a new fire suppression system, and an IED jammer. As of November 5, 2023, reports from Russian social media indicate that the Russian armed forces have captured their first upgraded Bradley M2 A2 IFV near the villages of Avdivka and Stepov in Donetsk Oblast, Ukraine. It remains unclear whether this captured Bradley is the same one featured on the TV show as the presenter mentioned the incident occurring in the Luhansk region. In this report, the captured Bradley supplied by the United States to Ukraine was equipped with the BRAT protection kit. Current images reveal the removal of certain components of the BRAT armor plates, specifically the upper front plate and the cannon by Russian soldiers. The BRAT, a standard feature installed on the front lines, is strategically designed to enhance the Bradley's safety during combat. Despite the upgrades and additional armor, the Bradley remains a target for Russia as evidenced by this recent incident spotlighting its vulnerabilities. The acquisition of these vehicles provides Russia with the opportunity to analyze and identify the weaknesses of the Bradley, potentially yielding valuable insights into its strengths and limitations. This development should be a cause for concern among Russia's adversaries, as it opens the possibility of discovering more effective ways to neutralize these IFV. Moreover, the performance of the Bradley in the ongoing conflict has ignited debates, particularly concerning its armor protection and mobility in the Ukrainian terrain. While the U.S. asserts the Bradley IFV's high resilience, Russia has demonstrated a contrary perspective by effectively turning Ukraine into a graveyard for these vehicles. This stark contrast raises questions about the actual capabilities of the Bradley in real-world combat scenarios. Given these circumstances, it prompts consideration of whether the U.S. should be apprehensive that Russia will exploit its captured vehicles to uncover and potentially replicate its advanced technology. What are your thoughts on this? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.